Hi everyone. We all know OneNote is an amazing tool for incorporating all kinds of media on the page here. And we can put video and audio, as well as text and pictures that we can normally do in Word. We can do things in OneNote that we can't do in Word. So one of the things that we can do is attach files into OneNote. The problem with doing a file attachment, and you see in the insert menu here we have file attachment. The problem with doing that is when I attach, let's say, a Word document that we want students to perhaps edit, that it's a little bit tricky because uh, saving it sometimes doesn't work as well as we'd like. So if I take a Word document here and I just go insert, and I've just done that as a file attachment, it gives me the option here. It says, which one do you want to do this as? Attach a file or insert a printout? So if I just attach a file, that's just going to attach it and it looks like that. Students can then open that file, they can work on it, but sometimes the saving's not great and we have had problems with that in the past. What I want to suggest that we do instead is do file printout and then be able to work with the file directly here within OneNote. So if I take the same file here and select insert and this time I'm going to choose file printout. So what this is going to do is going to take the Word document and render it here in the OneNote page exactly as it would look as if it was in Word. Students can then work on that page directly in OneNote and there won't be any saving issues. It will save as they go along as long as they're connected. Even if they're not connected they could be working on this um, in the bus on the way home. As soon as they're connected to Wi-Fi it will upload that version of that page that they're working on. So I just think this is a better way of working with our files. You can see that when I do that now, that the document comes out exactly as it looks in the Word document format, right? So um, I can then move this around if I wanted to. It actually gives you a page at a time. So each page is kind of a separate image. But putting this in there now, this Word document in there like this, allows the students to write directly or write directly on that document in here in OneNote and there won't be any saving issues. As soon as they write something, it will be uploaded. Even if they're not connected to the internet, as soon as they are, the uh, work there will be uploaded straight away. So I think that's a great way, instead of attaching as a document, inserting Word documents as a printout like that is a great way of, of doing it. Another option, and this is the one that I prefer, is if you have your Word document, uh, you can insert it as a printout, or simply you could just grab the text that you want, or I could go Control A, which would select everything on the page there, or just select you know, a part of the text that you want to include in OneNote. So I'll just grab all that, copy that text, so Control C, go across to OneNote, and Control V to paste that in to the OneNote page. Okay, so you can get rid of where that's come from. That's just coming from the Word document. So now, uh, when the difference here is that this text is actually editable. So the students can actually edit that text that's in there. If you then send this page out to students, you'll notice that all of them will be able to see that. They'll be able to actually edit that text as well as you giving them prompts for, you know, include this, now include a diagram of this, now include your, uh, your response to this. So you, you can set it up exactly like you want it to. But the key thing is that it's happening within OneNote. You're not having to go off to another application, save it back into OneNote. It's all happening in this page here and you can see it and mark the, the uh, pages really easily.